You can, this, the sky is below the trees. It's how the lens refracts the light, it inverts the image. If you put enough lenses together, it'll be right side up. <laughs> Jasmine Sears and Serena Sedgwick are the two U of A students behind the new startup company, Edible Optics. Their company is centered around candy lollipops, made from precise molds that mimic the lenses found in objects like telescopes or glasses. There's a lot of types of science that are covered in school, but optics usually isn't really one of them because optics, if, it's, if you're playing with like glass and um, plastic, it's yeah. either really dangerous or it can be really fragile and so it's really expensive. And so a lot of schools can't afford that. And so Edible Optics is trying to fix that by giving kids a way of playing with optics that's not dangerous and not expensive. Edible Optics is meant to be kid-friendly and easy to use. Provided in these kits are pre-made sugar and molds. All you need is a microwave to melt the sugar before pouring and creating an edible lens. So we're still kind of in product development right now. We're working on making the molds better so that they're easier to use and they look nicer. And we want to make kits that we can sell to people to do at home instead of have the mold and some sugar and they can do that part and build the full-on telescope. And then we also hope to do lessons in classrooms about optics for kids. Because they're real lenses, the things that come out of the molds are also real lenses. But if you just try to use like something that's kind of round, you're gonna wind up with a lot of um, aberrations, a lot of squiggles, a lot of things that are kind of distorted and don't really look quite right. And so because we're using real lenses, we get real exactly what you expect out of a lens. The end part for them making it isn't really the science part, but more using it is where the exploration comes in. The goal is just so they learn kind of what a lens does and how it works and that there's different types that make things bigger or there's ones that make things smaller. It's kind of how, because optics is everywhere, so it's kind of how the world around them is working. I really like teaching kids about science, but kids really like hands-on stuff and they don't really like just being lectured at a lot. And so I figured like this is a really fun way to teach them optics, which I really care about. That's why I'm doing a PhD in it. So that's pretty much what I'm getting out of it, is getting kids super excited and getting them, like, they don't even want to eat the lollipops, they want to look at things instead. It's really fun.